Hello, Jennifer with Gen T Designs here, and I'm going to talk about different methods that are going to help you sew knits and not be frustrated. So I'm talking about stretchy fabrics like this one, like jerseys and the type of knit fabrics that are usually in t-shirts. There are some knit fabrics that are gonna be more stable. Usually they'll be a little bit thicker and just the properties in them are gonna make them easier to sew without them stretching and warping. The main thing why these tips are gonna be useful is to prevent the fabric from stretching out over the threads as you're sewing and then warping, making wavy lines, things like that. All right. The first tip is going to be you to be use the correct needle for stretch fabrics. The best needles are going to say stretch or jersey. And the needle matters because when they make these needles they're going to be shaped differently depending on the properties of the fabric. So jersey needles, which is what you want to use, or stretch needles are going to have what you call a ballpoint, you know, like a ballpoint pen, but it's a, the tip of the needle is a little less sharp than other needles like universal needles or sharp needles. This is a jersey needle and the very end of this needle point is going to be a little bit rounded and that allows for it to slip in between the looped construction in the knit fabric versus a universal needle which is very sharp and pointed at the end of the needle and this is because it's made for actually ripping and poking straight through a tightly woven fabric and you can tell the difference sometimes when you switch them up in the wrong material you can hear it sometimes and you'll see that it sews less nice stitches. So definitely try to use, get a jersey or stretch needles for your knit fabric. I changed the fabric that I'm actually going to use for this demonstration because the other one was just sewing way too nicely. <laughs> and that's probably has to do with the machine. I don't think the machine was putting, the pressure foot was putting too much pressure on it, so it wasn't actually stretching out. It was sewing pretty nicely. But most machines, the pressure foot is going to be putting too much, uh, too much weight down, too much pressure down on the fabric, and then it'll stretch it out. So this is a more traditional jersey and I'm gonna sew it across the stretchiest part, which is going to mimic what you'd actually do on a garment with a hem. The hem would be going around your body with the stretchiest part of the fabric. So I'm just gonna fold it over and then sew it with a straight stitch. So you can see what it looks like with a straight stitch and then sew with a zigzag stitch. And the results actually aren't too bad. I used the largest stitch length because that helps stretch it out less. And as you can see, it actually stretches a little bit with the fabric. In a lot of cases, it won't. <laughs> and this is actually not the preferred stitch, a straight stitch to use on stretched fabrics, if you can help it. The zigzag stitch is going to be the preferred stitch over a straight stitch.
And then this is what the zigzag stitch did. It's actually really good. It didn't stretch out the fabric. And the this is one of the preferred stitches to use for stretch fabrics because as you can see, the zigzag is going to move with the fabric. So you can see this one is going to move less. I can't stretch it as far as this one. So this is a preferred because it's gonna stretch with the fabric. And the so therefore the fabric is going to lay more smoothly and flatly and actually stretch with your body. And this actually, this stitch is used by some professionals, um, actually in dancewear. It can be used quite often. Next, you can use a twin stretch needle like these to make a special type of stitch that is great for knits. So this needle actually has a single base and then it has two needles coming out of it. This is gonna create two lines of straight stitches like this on the top and then underneath is going to create a type of zigzag stitch that allows the fabric to stretch but still has a really nice clean stitch on the top and you see this kind of stitch a lot on industrially made factory garments and knit garments. You'll see this double line of stitching. So using a twin needle, you can use this in conventional machines. So home sewing machines, they have needles and the twin needle that you can use and make this kind of stitch. And if you really, really wanna go all out, you can get a machine that's dedicated just for this stitch. I actually did not use a twin needle for this stitch when I made it. I used a machine called a cover stitch machine. And so you can get these and the only thing they do is make this type of stitch. So maybe not the most efficient uh, way to go about solving this problem, but it does make a nice stitch. So the cover stitch machine is something you can get now, another limitation about using a cover stitch machine is that it's only good for hems, as far as I know. And so, I would recommend getting a, or having a serger, because a serger is going to be a lot more versatile, <laughs> uh, because you actually use it to make seams as well. So these are two pieces of fabric, stretch fabric, that are sandwiched together like a seam. And then I'm just gonna serge them. And really this is a great stitch for the knit because it is a type of really complex zigzag stitch that is going to move with the fabric. Here it is, not the prettiest, but as you can see, it does allow this to stretch. Um, it does, so you can see there's a little bit of waviness, which is not good. This can be fixed uh, very easily on sergers by these this dial right here. This controls the pressure that the foot over here has on this fabric. So in this case, it had a little too much pressure, so the fabric is actually stretching out. Um, what's nice about these machines is you have control over this. The sewing machines, it's a little harder to change that, if at all. 
And so for this, I get to change this dial and, and get it to scrunch less. Another helpful tool for sewing with knits and stretchy fabrics is a stabilizer. So this is a stabilizing tape. It's called Wonder Tape. And I would put it onto this edge because for here I want to do a hem. And I don't want it stretching. So this is going to keep it still and provide a surface that's not going to stretch. So I take this and place it at the edge. Then you have to take one of the ends and peel this outer non-sticky part off like so. And now you see there's the stabilizer part is actually on this fabric. And now I can fold it over on itself. And it's really nice because now this is just going to stick. So I don't even need pins. And now you see this is stretching, but this where I put the wonder tape is not going to stretch. So when the it's sewn over, it's just gonna hold. So now where this stitching is on top of the tape, it's not going to stretch. So you really want to do this technique, use the tape on areas that you know you don't want to or that don't need to stretch. So this would be great for a garment that has plenty of room, like plenty of ease around the body or places like darts that really don't need to stretch, but they just need that extra support. Here's our techniques. Again, side by side. This is just the straight stitch. It's a large stitch length. This is the zigzag, which gives quite a bit of stretch. This is a seam, the serger, gives a lot of stretch. And this is the reinforced seam, straight stitch with the wonder tape. It is very stable. However, it really doesn't have much stretch at all. And those are my tips for sewing on knit or stretch fabrics. They are what I've accumulated from the past probably year of getting serious about sewing stretches, <laughs> stretch fabrics correctly. Um, before that, I would just kind of go with the flow and didn't always do it efficiently. Um, really the, if all else fails, then do hand stitching. Um, you can do a blind hem stitch, so not for the uh, for the seams, but for the hem, um, if it's getting wavy, then do a blind hem stitch, and that is going to definitely help it lay flat. It's going to take longer, but it's going to be flat. So I linked the tools down in the description that I used and tools and machinery 
And if you have any questions, then go to gentydesigns.com and send me an email or write your question down in the comments and I will see if I will answer it. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit under the weather right now, so that's why I'm a little bit spacey. Um, I found out I had COVID a couple days ago, but luckily I got that vaccine. So I, um, feeling better than if I didn't have a vaccine. So if you don't have a vaccine for COVID, then definitely get it because I know my symptoms, I feel like I have a very mild cold and obviously I'm feeling well enough to do this video. So definitely get the vaccine because if you don't, you'll probably be a lot worse. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and bye.